do My life was great till you added colors Like the moon is the sun we don't care about the earth. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's Saturday and today I'm going to do a vlog style of what I'm up to today, nothing too fanciful. It's about um, 11.15 right now and uh, I've actually woke up about 6.30 a.m. but the entire morning I was just doing my stuff, talking to my, um, my boyfriend over Skype, I mean over FaceTime and all that. But yeah, but uh, and this morning it actually sort of, oops, it actually sort of stormed. So I'm not sure you can actually see kind of dark cloud out there. So. Yeah, so as you can see, I have lots of things to pack um, and I kind of sleep here so I have to, you know, kind of like clear up a little bit. And yes, I've actually bought this thing. Um, it's, I'm just going to sort of show you what it is. It's a, um, so it's like a mag magnetic white board uh, wall sticker. Because um, what I'm, my plan was, you know, you see all this stuff <laughs> that I have on the wall including my pin board. So what I actually want to do is you want to create, actually put it around at this like magnetic wall kind of thingy um, so that I can double up as, you know, like putting all my really cool magnets and putting all my um, my vision board, my to-dos, my reminders, my mantras and all that stuff. So so yeah, um, that's going to be like the big project for today and uh, see how the rest of my day goes. <laughs> Or take me away. I want you for myself every So guys, we need penguin. Yes, I kinda always let it sleep like that. I just want you, I just need you, I don't know what it is you do. Alright, so now for the big one is my, um, well not easy flat, that big, but my, uh, my desk. So, I'm gonna move it again. So in case you're kind of wondering what a D is for. So, um, so yeah, a couple of, a while back I bought this. Um, I bought this like um, it's a blue blocker, blue like blocker screen for my MacBook. A um, because I read that you know that you could get like um, dark spots from from the screen from this from the blue screen. Um, and you know I I really have some PC glasses or blue blocking uh, glasses, but I want something to cover my like just to block my face. So. Yeah, I probably didn't purchase a, a right one, a good one. Because what happened is that, you know, it's not an exact fit. I don't know if you can actually see it. But it's not like an exact fit, right? And uh, and I wasn't quite sure if I'm going to be pasting them. So I decided to just clip it for a time and get ready to do that. Because it would be a permanent um, kind of like something. But yeah, I've been using it for like three days and... I kind of like it because it doesn't give the glare like too much strain on my eyes. Speaking of which, I um, got this like super awesome. Uh, I'm gonna list some things for all the stuff that I bought here. You know, like this is like the portable. Oof. Yeah, but just be careful. Ouch. It's like a portable um, uh, laptop stand. It comes with a case like this, so it's really easy to um, carry it around. It's a little bit, it's not too heavy, but it's substantial, it's a good weight, it's really nice weight as well. You know, I like the colour, so you can just pull it out. And it has up to like, I think six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven heights. So I'm, I'm between like, like the first three, you know. Um, I wanted to get this because, I know I'm doing so much work on the computer with my writing, with my editing, and just general, you know, reading and all that stuff. And I wanted one that's on my eye level here, my desk. Um, I was contemplating getting a standing desk just because I don't want to sit down too much. Uh, well, we'll see how it goes, but for now, this is my, my desk uh, working area. kind of like it. So yeah, I'm going to leave the link for this one because 
bring like it it's um and it's not very expensive i think i paid like uh probably um fifteen dollars ten dollars so yeah a little bit about me i'm doing some writing coming going back to writing on my side um i have a platform a medium platform please check it out i've, I've written some articles there and um, entered into some publications. Um, also, uh, got selected or curated by medium editors. Pretty um, heartened by the results of it, and I'm hoping that it will grow into something um, that's something that people will love to read and it gives them brings them value. So, in case you're wondering what I'm writing about, um, I'll leave some links again. Yeah, I write things like health, fitness, um, write on self improvement, I write on um, relationships. I also write on. Uh, Entrepreneurship, because you know, I'm an entrepreneur right now. So yeah, so besides writing, I'm also doing some digital marketing on the side, learning on that for an e-commerce um, gig. So and I'm a very traditional pen and paper notebook kind of girl actually. So I have I'm I'm big on journals, I'm big on like notebooks. So I have like three different books right now for three of my endeavors. So one is for literally my YouTube channel, call it Wellness with Yen. So if you have any ideas, feedback, I'll just put it down, you know, here. And uh, and this one is for my e-commerce thingy, the digital marketing thingy, right here. And then this one, I uh, just got this the other day, like blue. So got this really nice blank. I love blank notebooks. Like it doesn't interfere with my creativity or my thought process, right? And uh, so so yeah, I, I I literally am scribbling down like the structure of what I want to write. You know, my any research ideas and all that stuff. So um, I should have gotten a, probably a thicker notebook, but it's fine. Just start from somewhere. So yeah, um, that's like kind of three kinds of things. So I like it because if let's say I'm on a go, I'm outside. Let's say I'm at a beach, relaxing, and I you may never know when ideas come around. Um, and I'll just take these books with me, and I'll be like, okay, I have something in mind for um, wellness with Yen. Just write it in and stuff like that. I know people will be like, why don't you just put it all in one notebook? Um, I tried it many times, but somehow it doesn't really work for me effectively because at the end of the day, I have everything inside. Um, yeah, so I have another blank notebook, as you can see. And, uh, so yeah, I mean, I don't know if this works with you guys, but it really works with me because I'm, uh, in a way, the way how I think it's like I'm pretty free-spirited, but at the same time, when it comes to like work, um, I like it organized and structured so that I can also link it up in my head, like interconnected. Say. And um, before going off tangent, I actually finished reading this book, The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwarz. Um, I could do a book review maybe next week. I haven't quite decided yet, but um, I'll let you know how my reading uh, goes. Uh, part of mindset training too. So that's there. Alright, so yes, the big project. I don't know how I'm going to be doing this, so we shall find out. Right. Okay, so this is about um, 100 by 60 centimeters. I don't know, was it in inches? Probably 3, 4 inches by maybe, no, I mean, um, feet. 3, 4 feet by perhaps 2 feet, I think. Okay, so it literally is just nothing inside. And then I'm gonna show you this. So it is about it's quite thick actually. It's about 0.6 mm tall, and obviously this goes to the back. You can actually pull it off, and then this is probably the white box part. So I am not actually going to stick on the wall. So I am actually not gonna stick. So I'm actually not gonna stick on the wall. I'm actually going to use this thing. It's like a magic tape kind of thing. Um, so, you know how you want it to be, how you can install it well, I um, mean like secure but not destroy the wall. So, I sort of recommend this. Again, I'm going to leave links to all this. Uh, so, yeah, you can, it's really sticky. So you can actually see that the, like the, what do you call that, the, um, thickness of this sticker is really thick so once you stick it on a wall you can just feel the top part and it secures so this thing 
you can see up here my little mini whiteboard board. It's um it's done that way. I'm pretty excited. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm really gonna start this. Um so I'm gonna actually just clean up all the stuff, take it out. I'm gonna use um what do you put it? A um my wet wipes to actually clean the wall and then I'm gonna do the sticker and then I'm gonna put on the whiteboard um thing. And I'm not sure if it's gonna fit all the way, but you can see. Um, otherwise you can actually cut it, but really excited. So these magic tapes are really like um actually quite strong. They can go up to like five kg. Strong magnets. Yes, I am a post-it girl. I love it. Love it. Love some post-its. It's different. Some people try to get tired. If you don't have a I have not actually tried the writing. Yay! Oops, can you actually see? Yay! Ta da! Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, the Lord, for those who believe, who have a um, relationship with God, the Lord will fight for you while you only need to keep calm. Keep silent and remain calm. Um, wow, goosebumps. So sometimes, you know, it's best to just keep silent. And I mean, there are times when we should speak up, but there are also times when sometimes it's best not to engage in unnecessary um, arguments. Just a reminder, especially for what's going on. And uh, <laughs> this is just my reminder of what I'm supposed to do for the channel. Like, like I'm on Saturday vlogs, I try to do an 8 to 15 minutes. I don't always do that successfully, I know, but I'm trying to um, find out, like, what's the comfortable length that, you know, you guys love. So let me know how it goes. Yeah. Alright, so this is kind of like the final product. So you can see that 100 by 60 centimeters um, wide, I mean like length and wide of the magnetic whiteboard wall sticker. I cut it into two, one is over the side, um, and then this is on the side. So now I have a little whiteboard and I can start scribbling stuff. And oh, I've got to actually remove Um, Yeah, and I've got to get more magnets though, but it's awesome. I could just like, you know, like just write it and it just be raised if I want to. Nice and clean. Um, who knows? This might turn into a little mini um, education series that I can do for you guys if you want to know more about, if you want to know more about, um, you know, fitness, hormonal aspect of things, uh, how, how female hormones work. So it is now. 12.30. I'm gonna make some lunch or get some lunch. Uh, but yeah, I will come back later on to let you know what else I'm gonna be up to. Living a bit, man. Nah, so I'm just trying to keep, you know, spirits up. Uh, so it's that. still relatively cloudy as you can see. Um, yeah, and it's kind of making me 
I'm a bit drowsy. I'm actually going to go out, take a walk, um, get a, a favorite drink or something just to, you know, feel a bit better. Uh, I want to get some food as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I think the adrenal fatigue is really setting in. So we'll see. Bring you along. So it's a really chilly day today. I just want my um, a foodie if I want to. And I'm um, just going to show you a little bit of what my lift landing is. It's neither. All that. And here comes my lift. I'm going to go right in. I actually was doing this Zillop thing and I forgot to bring my mask. I think it's quite common, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just going to flip the camera around so that you can see what's going on. So that's kind of like the estate that I live near by. It's a really strange day today. It's not crowded for a Saturday. And it's um, really windy and cloudy. It kind of rained in the morning, actually. Yeah. And, well, the thing with adrenal fatigue, guys, as I'm talking here, is that um, it's really important to listen to your body, right? Like, I've been having pretty good sleep, but just not for the last three days. I'm not sure what caused it. Um, but it could be one of those days. It could be mental stress or some stuff like that. But nothing too crazy. Um, uh, I'll get back to it. And yeah, so when this um, kind of like low in energy sets in, like, there is like kind of like dip or low in energy, it's really important to tune in to yourself. Uh, you got to also eat right by not having fluctuating sugars, like eating stuff that gets your blood sugar goes up and down so much. So I've been eating lots of um, healthy fats, the avocados um, from Australia. So I'm going to try to see if I can get more of that from the Australia one because I only like that one. And you got to eat carbs too, but just, you know, healthy ones. So, yeah, I'm going to do all of that. I'm going to get some errands done too. Oops. So these are the ones. I'm going to choose five. Be right back. So whenever I feel a little bit down or just want to get a put me up, I will go get this koi. It's a Singapore-based kind of drink. No, it's not all sugar. In fact, it's um, it's lemon lime green tea. So it's super sour. I kind of want that, and I want the antioxidants of the green tea. With like like I choose like actually I wanted to choose zero percent. Like we have like sugar level, so I wanted to choose zero percent, but there isn't for this drink, so I chose the next lowest, which is 25%, which is almost like nothing. And it's honey, so it's not so bad. But yeah, I mean, I could do this at home, but um, I like that it's it's just, you know, pre-made. Um, I figured I want to do something just to love myself a little bit. Still haven't found food. Um, figure something out. I'm a typical hawker in Singapore. You can see. Um, pretty common local food, um, pretty cheap too, but I decided to get this like spring roll for PR wrap. Um, and I just can adjust like the sweetness level and all that. Um, I'll show you when I get back home. I might get more food, maybe some Chinese dumplings. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Alright, so I'm finally back home. It's about an hour. It's about close to 2.30. Way, way past my lunch and all that. But, uh, yeah, so these are like the food I've got. I'm going to show you quite a bit. Let me just remove all the plastic packaging. Ugh, I don't like the plastic packaging. So this is that spring roll popia thing. <laughs> we call it popia. So I basically asked for no chili and no this, this is cracking, this crispy fried stuff, which not really my liking. I usually ask for even like no peanuts, uh, but it's alright. And then this is the uh, legend. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you proper, you know, like how it has the, I don't know, you can actually read it, um, lemon, lime, green tea. There you go. Oh, mm, I love it, full of 
vitamin C. And the so I made some like toast with my avocados that I left over from this morning. And uh, yeah, it's really good. It's it. Gonna watch me, I guess, eat. Um, just thinking about what I'm gonna eat actually tonight. Rough, but for now, really grateful for this meal. Um, and that I'm grateful that um, I have the ability to enjoy this, uh, the means to do so, and all the resources around me to um, so like to yeah maybe this is a bit better. Oops, sorry. Uh, oops, I have all the resources around me to um, to do what I want to do to build my freedom lifestyle, and um, yeah, like it's been quite a bit of a strange year for all of us, I know that. So let me just try to make this a little bit better, yeah. So, um, just practice, continue to practice mindful eating and gratitude and positive thinking. Yep. So, you know, sorry, I just want to get my first bite in. As you can see, it's made of all these like vegetable ingredients, so it has like carrots, turnips, um, cucumbers, actually eggs, but not a lot. You can actually make them on your own, but there's a lot of ingredients to be made. So it's kind of like a wrap that is so, um, it's not even China, Chinese style, but it's very local Singaporean style or Malaysian. Mm. And come back. I'll talk to you guys later. All right. All right. So I'm back from my, you know, my late lunch and all that. It's just watching some, uh, videos, and uh, just this coat that I got, which I think it's really um, I think it's a sign from God, from the universe, whichever you believe. I think it's for for me and you know for me to share this with you. And I actually wrote that on my new magnetic whiteboard, and I'm gonna share with you. It's actually where your attention goes, your energy flows. I'm going to repeat that again. Where your attention goes, your energy flows. Third time, where your attention goes, your energy flows. I think that's kind of like my mantra for today, perhaps for the week, right? Um, I don't think we need really need to explain that so much. I think it's quite self-explanatory. So if you know, if you are, if, if certain things rile you up this year or this week or even today, just for a moment pause and think about where you are directing your attention, because where your attention goes, that's where your energy is flowing. And you can ask yourself, you know, is it worth spending? The energy that you have um, on that on that attention on that thing, right? If you're wondering, um, yeah, if you if you are you know like try not to get so like if you want to get all like worked up, angry, or upset, it's probably a signal or a sign where you have placed your attention. I know it's not easy. I mean, I it's not easy to let go, um, but it comes with practice, just like mindfulness, just like. Um, breathing meditation, just like finding peace. So, yeah, where your attention goes, your energy flows. And because, you know, I'm so big on learning how to manage your energy as optimally as possible, I think this quote comes in so apt for me. And I really thank God for, you know, sending all these messages around um, as well. So, I am actually feeling a little bit tired. I might want to call it a day with the vlog. Um, maybe I'm going to take a nap or just want to ease things a bit. Um, but just want to, you know, go easy on the screen. Um, maybe I'll do a light workout later on. Like it's just a simple movement just so that um, I don't want to get into a, a good kind of like, I just don't want my back to act up too much. You know, it's getting better. But yeah, I want to talk about something. It's called this book. Earlier this, today I talked about the magic of thinking big. Um, it's one of those books that is so classic. It's written in 19, 19, 
79 and it's still trying to test it you know um i encourage you to get it it's it's i mean depends on what you want you can get it cheap you can get it brand new at 28 dollars but it's all over it's probably even audiobook so I, I i i i love this book because it's it's written in such a simple plain language and yet it's so in your face you know like literally it says believe you can succeed and you will i know it's a bit of a a woo concept right like okay i believe i will succeed and then therefore i will succeed but you know he goes on to explain like why um when you believe when you truly truly believe you can achieve something your whole entire psyche so going back to where your attention goes your whole entire psyche is just gravitating towards um overcoming other challenges or finding ways to act on it obviously along the way he also explained um, some stuff like or actually highlight some stuff whereby where we could sometimes fall off the bandwagon and why we you know actually fall off the bandwagon and how to come back to it um, like i said small nuggets of stuff but i'm just gonna you know um talk about yeah i, I like to like write again i told you i'm a post-it girl um ooh, i need to i probably have read it too much that now this book is coming out but um yeah i want to talk about you know six key things about um thinking big. Number one, when little people try to drive you down, think big, don't engage. So it goes back to that code, where your attention goes, your energy flows. And number two, when I when you start thinking of, I don't have got what it takes, right? When that feeling creeps up, think big. It's all about your perspective. So again, I repeat the second one, when I don't have got what it takes, feeling creeps up, think big, change your perspective. All right, the third one, when an argument or quarrel seems inevitable, think big. Ask, is it really important to argue about it? Sometimes if it is, go ahead. I mean, you know, like, don't use violence, of course, don't use physical violence. But, um, you, know, we are, you know, we are blessed with a brain, we can read, we can think. So think about how you can um, articulate it, present yourself well. All right? But otherwise... Most of the time, so David Shaw says, actually most of the time, when you really ask yourself the question, is it really important to argue about it? Nine out of ten times, it's, it's a no. Okay? But sometimes it is really important. Of course, go ahead. All right, the fourth one is when you feel defeated, think big. And he goes on to say, because defeat is a state of mind. So what you can do, there are a few things, but one of the ways that I've written down in this tiny note posted is that start afresh by blending persistence with experimentation. And he went on, I remember he went on to explain, he went on to give some examples like um, uh, Thomas Edison, right? He refused to think defeated and he tried many, 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 many ways until he made his light bulb light. So he, he, experiment, he experimented and he persisted. So that's why how he never felt defeated. I think this is something for me, you know, today, like, like today I'm actually studying afresh, um, blending you know, an experimentation like vlogs. I'm not sure who's going to watch this, but I really want to do this out there. I want to send this message, this vlog out. just want to show you guys a perspective from a health coach, a, you know, a someone who is trying to recover from adrenal fatigue, ups and downs. It's very real, right? All right, the fifth one. When romance starts to slip, think big. So I guess it's really focused on um, relationships, but he went on to also explain it's not just on your intimate relationships but you know in general you know when you start to think bad about someone or not see someone in a good light this is what he offers he says focus on the biggest quality of qualities of the person you love and most of the time it makes you pretty uh, quite grateful to them right and you know start to feel love and the last one when you feel your progress on the job or whatever endeavor you're on is slowing down Think big. Think, I can do better. Think, um, you know, always put service first before money. I really like this one because um, for the longest time, you know, I've, been on an, I've always been an entrepreneur since my college days. I had my own business and all that. And I've always think that leadership is not, is, a, is, an, is an attitude, both an attitude and an action of serving others rather than yourself. When you have an attitude to serve others, so I call it an attitude of servitude to others, you are essentially being a lead leader. 
right? You're not thinking about yourself. And I think, you know, um, it the job or the endeavor, whatever position you're at, suddenly becomes a lot more meaningful and purposeful and lighten up. So even if today you're not like a CEO or a manager of a big team, even if today you're just um, working in a retail shop as a, you know, cashier or stuff like that, when you start to think big like this, you know, you think about the service that you are doing to uh, to for others, um, I think what happens is that it raises your mood, your vibration energy, it brings a lot of um, positivity in your life. You start to, you know, your perspective just change. You just look at things in a very different way and say what you like, doors just open up for you even when you least realize it. And that's why I really like, you know, the magic of thinking big, right? So that's so much for the really super short takeaway of this book. I didn't mean to do a book review today, um, but yeah, just literally finished it. And remember guys, where your attention goes, your energy flows. So I hope you have, I hope you enjoyed today's video on vlog. Um, I hope it's within the time frame. Um, and uh, please leave a comments and subscribe to my channel, like the video, and check out you know the rest of my videos. Um, like yeah, let me know what what you like. I've I've you know I basically am I'm passionate. I just want to share with you all things about integrative health, wellness, how to manage your energy. If you are struggling with uh, managing your energy or learning how to be more mindful, or in terms of like what kind of workout suit, suit me suits me, especially if you know I'm uh, especially if you are having like hormonal imbalances, endometriosis, PCOS, HP axis, maladaptation, you know, just hit me up. I'm, I'm here anytime for you guys. Um, all right, so stay hydrated, stay safe. Um, wear a mask, please, when you guys go out. I mean, yes, I know it's not really comfortable, but I think, to me, I think that's probably like the least responsible thing we can do as a human being. Don't think it that it's a government thing or stuff like that. I mean, literally, the virus really doesn't care your gender, whether you are a millionaire or a, or a beggar on the street, right? That's what viruses do, you know? That's what they do. They just attack, right? And um, they just attack, and those who can overcome it is usually because the immunity is strong, which is why I'm, I'm starting this channel, uh, which is why I advocate, you know, like being, you know, like, like do what it takes to just drive up your immunity, not just physically, but also mentally and emotionally, because everything, you know, has an effect on your HPA axis. So, uh, sorry, just went a little bit off tangent over there, but yeah, really. So just, um, you know, just take care, guys, and stay hydrated, stay positive, do something fun today, and I'll see you probably tomorrow for Sunday. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to be, but yes, all right. Bye-bye, guys. I love you all. Bye. side of is done. All the good times just begun.